Hi, this is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and today we are on the way to Tucson and I have to have a stop because I didn't watch to charge all the way up and you want to see our visit and our trip to Tucson and probably to a nice destination charger and so on. Stay with us. Hi, and uh, I'm at the supercharger here in Casa Grande. And uh, I just noticed the supercharger. Oops. Funny. It started charging and then it stopped again. Okay, it's starting again. And the nice thing was. When you look at that, I never had more than 120 kilowatt, and now it's plopping all the way in and it's accelerating up to it. Now we have over 100 kilowatt, and you can see it's 140, 140 kilowatt. That's quite nice. And I had to turn the navigation off from time to time is stopped and that's what I need to find out what's the problem here Parking is. So let's try that again. We are at the supercharger in Tucson. We want to plug in and see how that charger is doing. Now that should be okay because there are 64 miles on it and Let's turn around, 64 miles on it, starting to charge, then let's see what's coming out. Oh, this looks good, it's counting up, also sieht gut aus, es zählt nach oben, so jetzt bin ich schon über 100 drüber weg. Yeah, so now I reach that 139 kilowatt. Let's see if it keeps that 140 kilowatt, 421 miles per hour. That's good. That's a good charge rate, and we're gonna watch that and stay here for a little bit. If it was the charger itself, or it was the car or the supercharger. That's what we need to find out. And so far, as you can see, is holding the 100, even increasing to 141. It's usually holding 140 kilowatt. So there is a significant increase in power input. Looks good after the upgrade. Just another car after the upgrade, 141 kilowatt, powering 423 miles in. Okay, just let's look at the shop and see what they have and then see if the car is continuously charging well. So within that short time, <coughs> I have charged a lot, but after 50%, the charge rate goes really down. And if you see that, now I'm at 70 kilowatt and also the cooling system kicks in when you hear that sound in the background. But that's enough uh, and I charge tonight and that's okay. That cable was very hot, probably that's why. Hi guys, this is Rolf again and something has changed because I'm at the same supercharger at the same station again and now that was the station would turned off and on with 140 kilowatt and now it's back to 112 as you see or was it was 120 
So they have probably noticed that uh, they cannot upgrade all of their superchargers, but uh, or I had to reduce them because of any failures. Uh, you cannot believe how much you get used to autopilot or cruise control because my cruise control and autopilot system is down since two days and I tried to do a cold restart or shut down the uh, Model X but it wasn't successful. I tried to contact someone from Tesla. I left them messages and uh, could not reach anybody yet. But uh, our last procedure is as long as they have a physical location I'm gonna drive to the physical location and that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, it seems to be problem solved because I was showing up at Tesla at 5.30, they're closing at 6 and I asked one of the technicians there and he encountered that problem before and it has to do with sentry mode. When And I had sentry mode activated for the last three days and I could not deactivate it somehow at night. So when in that is... Mile, bear left towards Interstate 10 West. Wait a second. And I could not deactivate that sentry mode. So, because I was always in public places, then at a certain point of time, in, at night, in, in deep sleep, the car is checking all of his sensors and the camera system. And if it can't do that, after a certain period, then it really shuts down. And what I would have to do now is that I would put the car in the garage, locked, which is always, and at home I don't, I have sentry mode deactivated all the time. So sentry mode will be deactive and then the car goes in deep sleep and after that, when the car is in deep sleep, it checks the camera system and uh, sensors and then it uh, starts up again, finds out everything is okay and then uh, navigation or cruise control as well as autopilot is available again and that's what needs to be checked. So they're working on a better solution for that. Currently that satisfies me. Uh, the car is not being used anyway tonight or tomorrow so I gotta drive manually home again and then we find out uh, tomorrow morning if that resolves the issue. They also put over the Wi-Fi a new firmware on the car and uh, just check my VIN number and over their Wi-Fi system put a new firmware on the car. Maybe that helps as well. I'm on 60.2 and we find out tomorrow and I'll let you know. Ah, and my wife drives always manual so she never uses the cruise control or the autopilot and she doesn't like that I'm using that autopilot or cruise control and many women are like that so they talked she talked to quite a couple of women who are driving Teslas and that's so that the car 2013 Model S is perfect for her because there is just cruise control in and not even adaptive cruise control but now I can understand how tired you are getting after driving a couple of hours regularly without any assistance. It's when I drove down to Tucson it was really super easy and you get relaxed, you are arriving relaxed even when you're driving uh, two and a half hours. Uh, but on the way back it's more exhausting so uh, that's a big compliment to Tesla. Uh, uh, it makes your driving more convenient and nice. Hey, correction guys, the sensors are working still. So if you see that here, I'm on a, in a construction zone and the sensors are still active. So that means there's, I call them the soft target sensors, which are the surroundings and uh, probably it's the camera and the radar. Guys, I need to tell you a funny story. So, always take your key out of your pocket when you're on a car wash. The reason for that is the following. One time I was in a car wash and then you're supposed to put the car in neutral. 
once you are in a car wash. So what happened to me there, and you hear that, the, the brushes, what happened to me there, I tried to take the key out and I was already in the car wash and when I tried to take the key out, I pressed the button which opens the Falcon wing door on the left side. So in the middle of the car wash, the Falcon wing door was open because I also pressed the park button, not the neutral button. So, and then they had to stop the car wash while I was in the car wash and thankfully nothing happened. So, always put the key outside in the car wash. Okay guys, it's the next morning and in the meantime I had a firmware upgrade and also a software upgrade to 16.3. Actually there comes a, came a suggestion that I should upgrade the system on the next morning to 16.3. That's what I did and when I'm seeing that now it recognizes lanes again and I'm activating autopilot. A second. Auto steer is currently unavailable, but it's difficult to recognize the lane. No, auto steer is there. So we're going to turn it back, and as you see, all been fixed. So probably 16.3 did the trick, and if it ever happens again, you have to remember hey, give it a rest the car in deep sleep so that you can uh, you can check the cameras uh, maybe the radar at night so that was this it was fixed it was fixed actually in minutes and that's a good thing so what is the result of that the service was very fast it's good and what i'm thinking is with the 16.3 they run the camera check procedure before or after you are starting the sentry mode and that would actually make sense because you're starting the sentry mode if some of the cameras doesn't work don't work sentry mode is only half helpful because when some of the cameras don't work you don't catch those pictures so i hope that the camera check is being combined uh, with the which the night uh, camera check is being combined with the activation or deactivation of sentry mode that would make sense all right, that was it. Everything is repaired. So talk to you next time and subscribe, thumbs up and bye-bye.